Hey Journey Group, it's me again, and guess what? I'm back on video. Well here I am delivering my first vlog for the 2012 year. Now, I know I haven't seen you in a while, but you might still be wondering about PFO. You may be asking, Ben, how does PFO make a difference in the Charlotte community? Well guess what? That's what the PFO monthly vlog is about. The topic for the vlog of March is PFO's involvement in the Charlotte community. There are five different ways that playing for others makes a difference in our community. The first one is learning to see past a child's disability to the child themselves. This goes along with one of my earlier blogs about people first language. People first language, in case you didn't remember, is when you say the person's name before the disability, therefore you're not defining the person by their disability. The second way playing for others makes a difference is how it promotes inclusion and acceptance. Now, this also comes from one of my earlier blogs about the four A's, acceptance is one of those A's. So we try to influence that in the Charlotte community. Number three, breaking down the stereotypes of teenagers. Now, this is what society normally views teenagers as. I have so much angst. However, PFO breaks down these stereotypes. Hi, I'm from playing for others. Instead of having angst, why don't you have thanks for such a great life? I hope you have a great day. No, I'm just kidding, we're not that cheesy. But still, it breaks down those stereotypes, right? Fourth aspect is how the teens use their creative talents in order to benefit the greater good. This is expressed through PFO's annual Arts Festival, which is, by the way, is coming up, and I'll make a blog next month about it. And these art festivals are used to raise money from the public for the organization. Now, the fifth step of how PFO makes a difference in the community deals with our nonprofit. This aspect is about setting a goal to raise enough money in order to buy a needed item for that nonprofit organization. And this year, it's HOPE. HOPE stands for Helping Outcomes of Parents with Exceptional Children. So when you donate to the organization, you're actually donating to the community, which is a great way to get involved in the Charlotte community. So thank you so much for all of your donations. So basically, that's how playing for others helps make a difference in our community. Thank you for watching, and I hope you join me for next month, April. Yeah, obviously. Um, for the next one's vlog about the Arts Festival. See you then!